don't even have any flood watches or flood warnings, despite this is the fifth day of areas of heavy rain. And you can see it all over the radar. There's a nice little line that stretches from Hunt County, Greenville, just past the county seat, headed towards Terrell. Now it's going to be moving into northern Kaufman County and Van Zant. Well, also, a pretty strong thunderstorm over by Waxahachie, bringing some good lightning there that is south of Venice. As you can see, that Seagaville down to the south and to the southwest, we're seeing some heavy rain. And that's where the strongest thunderstorm is right now. It's over Maypearl, continuing to drop down to the south and move down the 35 corridor. This is a brief blinding rain. And besides the heavy rain, there is all this lightning to contend with. Definitely want to be inside. It looks like about 20 minutes of rain there for you before it passes on through. Not a whole lot going on in Tatarian County right now. We have some heavy rain moving through Weatherford and Parker County. And over in Wise County, you see this thunderstorm with some lightning right over Decatur right now. And just be careful in this heavy rain with some street flooding because of recent rains. The rain's having trouble getting off the roads and through the creeks. This is a live look at Midlothian. And you can see 67 is wet. We're looking off to the west. And that's that rain that I was just showing you on the radar moving off to the south. Future Sky forecast, look what happens. So we're going to go from 6 to 10 o'clock. That's what you can expect. If you've got some errands to run here at the last of the evening hours, it looks like the rain is going to be letting up rather quickly when we lose the daytime heating. And then tomorrow morning, there might be some patchy fog around because of all the rain we've had recently. There's going to be a lot more cloud cover down to the southeast. And keep an eye down here because look at this rain showing up by Anderson County. This is the last of this system moving through. We're going to put a 10% chance of precipitation down there for tomorrow. But for most of us, we're just going to be drying out. Here's that big upper level low. We've been talking about this since the first day of June. It slowly has moved from the panhandle of Texas now over into Louisiana and the further it goes off to the east, the better chance we have of drying out. And that's exactly what's going to happen as we go from tomorrow all the way into the end of the work week. It goes up all the way into the Ohio Valley and dies out. But in its place, a ridge of high pressure builds in. That's hot. That's dry weather. And look at next weekend. We're talking about temperatures in the low to mid 90s with some dry conditions. Mostly we're going to put in this small chance of thunderstorms. It looks like that's going to occur on Friday. But as soon as we clear the rain, we get into mostly dry conditions and you can see the summer heats coming in. We're in the mid 90s come Sunday. We're still in the low 90s by Monday. It looks like that dry weather is going to stick around for most of the next work week too.